hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you all doing okay so today i'm back with another exciting tutorial and today we are going to look at how to create a video a youtube video downloader so i created this plugin a long time ago okay so that was june okay this was when i updated it but it's been long when i created this plugin and it's a plugin that enables you to download youtube videos also to extract their link as well so but for now it's only supported for android because i haven't uh, written any ios function i've not updated it to work with ios so for now it only works with android okay so today i decided to do this video to demonstrate how to use this flutter youtube downloader plugin to download you know, youtube videos from link or why browsing the youtube okay so in this application we're also going to be using the web view flutter so this web view flutter will help us to show the youtube youtube uh, website as a web view inside our application so that way to enable us to watch to download the vi any video that we are currently watching we'll be able to download it or we can copy the link and put it in a text box and then download it from there okay so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to, okay, so this is my app, yeah? So this is just a basic uh, Flutter app. So I'm going to modify this a little bit. So you should, I want to create a test feed that will be here. So it will be more like, okay, download and um, paste the link here and then the, the button to download. Or you can decide to just browse okay you can decide to just browse normal with the youtube web view okay so let's see how to do this real quick so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the whole of this okay so i just need a clean and fresh application so the first thing you want to do is to make sure you import the material of that but we can skip that part just go with void main okay like this and you call your run app Okay, so the first starting, the, you uh, put the name of your app here. All right, so I believe you guys are already familiar with this stage. All right, so I will create a stateless widget and call this one my app. All right. Okay. All right, so I also need to import this stuff. So we need to do an import. No, not Cupertino, Materia. Okay. All right, so we are good. And now I'm going to return my Materia app here. Okay. So the Materia app will have a home page. So home page, I can decide to put a splash screen on this application. But for now, I don't want to put any, uh, any splash screen. I just want the page, just want to make the app simple, okay, without any splash screen. So I'll just have a home page here, okay. So here now, inside my leaf folder, I'm going to create a folder called screens. So it's more like uh, a package, okay. All right, you go to new and you go down to package and you can call this one screens. Okay, so inside the screen, I'm going to create the home page. All right, so it's a dot file. You go to that and call this one home page. All right, it should come up. Okay, so now I'm going to create this home page is going to be a stateful widget. Okay, so I'll call this one home page. All right. And also, don't forget to import this as well. Okay. And it shouldn't be Cupertino. It should be Materia. All right. Okay. So now we can go back to our main dot that and make sure we import the home page to eliminate this error. Okay. So import it. And this shouldn't be this. It should be a comma. Okay. So now I'm done with this part. I can just close it. Uh, okay. So now let's rerun our application again to see a blank page. All right. So it's going to be a blank page. All right. So currently we have a blank page because we have a container here. Okay. So I'm going to modify this real quick. All right. A scaffold and uh, it's going to be, have an app bar. Okay. 
so the color should be red because it's actually working with YouTube so I want to make the color red as well so it just be red and uh, I'm gonna have a title we'll call this one okay a YouTube downloader so you have to save that with your control s and you should see something like this okay so now we have a nice stuff i can remove the elevation because if you look closely there's a little bit of shadow there so let's remove the shadow and set it to zero okay so save it and it should go off all right so now it's looking good okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to create the body so the body should have a link uh, more like a test feed where we can um, paste the link the youtube link and you should also have a button to download once you click on that download it's going to extract the link that we pasted and then once it extracts it it's not going to uh start downloading it for us into our file okay so what i'm going to do now is to create okay so terminate this all right so what i'm going to do is to create a, a body widget okay uh yeah a body widget or oh, instead of doing it that way what about if i have a bottom nav here okay a bottom navigation so once you click on one it's going to take you to the web view side where you can browse videos and if you click on this other one it's going to take you to a place where you can just paste in your link and copy it from there how about that so i believe that one will be better okay so but I think it's going to make this video a little bit longer, but all right, let's just go with it since it's actually something you want, you want love to see. So let's add a button, a bottom navigation bar here. One is for uh, extracting you are like pasting your URL to download the YouTube video. And the other one is for browsing the web view to download the YouTube video. All right. So let's do this real quick. I have my homepage and I have my body widget. So I'm just going to comment this for now and create a simple bottom navigation bar okay bottom navigation bar and we'll call this bottom navigation bar all right so i'm going to be fast with this uh, okay bottom navigation bar okay so it has items so the items is just going to be two so i'll go uh the first one is going to be the item is more like a bottom navigation item okay so i'm going to create a list for that so i want to separate it i'll just create a list of bottom navigation bar item and i'll call these items all right and i think i'm not supposed to put it here because now it's more like looking like a dead code okay so because it's under return so i'm going to put it inside here like so okay nope can't even enter there so i'm going to put it here sorry all right so okay yeah this one is good okay so now i'm going to since we have two items we want to show one is for downloading the pasted link and the other one is for the youtube downloader so i'm going to have a button navigation bar item and the icon is going to be mm, okay can i have something like paste okay let's see if we have anything like paste okay so we have something like paste and i can have the label as well so it's going to have a label and uh, paste link okay so this is going to be paste link all right so now we are good with that part so i'm going to create the next one real quick okay so now i'm going to uh set this one to, uh, all right so now we have these two items i can now return this item here so instead of having this list i'll just have the items to be returned here okay so now if i save this stuff i should see the two okay so we have the two stuff here it should be showing one is browser and the other one is paste link okay so now i'm going to okay so can i see let me see if i can modify some of this oh 
okay so we have the current index so current index is going to be one so i need to create uh, an, an int value here which is int current index okay so it's going to be zero which is the first index which is to paste the link so this index is going to show whenever we we open this page okay so i want to make it private as well so right here i'm going to uh, set the current index to be the current index i just created and then i will set the on change so whenever we change right okay on tap whenever we tap on it so i want to set state so now i'm not using any state management i'm not using provider to manage state because it's just more like an a uh, an app state okay so just everything is going to be inside here so I will set states, but it seems I can use set states here. Why? 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 Okay, okay. On top, I need a value which is actually the current index that we clicked. So set states, I will set the current index, current index to be equal to that value. Okay, so whenever we click on each item, it's going to change, and we set it to this one. Okay. So you want to save that and try to see if it work. Okay, so now you can see now our stuff is changing. All right. Okay, so now we are. I don't think I'm going to modify this anymore. But I can set uh, selected color, selected item color to be red. Okay. All right, like so. So this should change to red. All right. So now we have it looking good. So we now we have the paste link is a separate page and we also have the browser so now let's work on the paste link first and see how it works so what i'm going to do now is to okay we are done with this part is to return the body widget so the body is also going to be a list of widgets which is the two widgets paste link and the browser so what i'm going to do inside the screen i'm going to create the two widgets so i'll call this one paste link page Okay, so I hope I'm not confusing you guys and you are actually uh, grabbing what I'm doing. So the next one is for browser. So browser, uh, can I spell browser again? Browser page. So this one is going to be uh, for showing the web view. Okay, so it's a page where we just integrate the web view and then browse normal. Okay, so what I'm just going to do, let me just... Uh, okay call this as a stateful widget now so let me just call it browser page all right and we can leave it like so okay browser page and then this one which is the paste link we can just call it a stateful widget as well so paste link page all right so this one now is going to be a scaffold widget so but we don't need a bar for this anymore okay so i'll have something like this and then it's just going to have a body widget so the body is just going to be a container so now i'm going to put a container first because i need to add some padding to it uh we can just go const edge insets dot all okay just make this one to be 20 yeah nice so we can have the child which is going to be a column all right so from his column we are going to have children all right so let me show you what is actually going on here so now i have these two pages paste link and the browser page the browser page is for this one when you click on this page the browser page will show when you click on this one the paste link will show so let me go to my home page and do this real quick but before i do that i need to create the pages so it's going to be a list of widgets remember those pages are widgets so i'll create uh, pages and it's also going to be a list so the first list the first item on our list is going to be the paste link page okay and the second one is going to be the browser page all right and then i'll terminate this stuff here so i'll go to my body widget here since it's a list i'll just call the page and now the index whenever this current index change our page is going to change so i'm just going to put the current index inside here all right to just assess it all right page should be pages okay all right 
all right so that's it so save this and you should see the scaffold widget if we click on this one we should see the other widget but now we cannot see anything because i haven't modified anything inside so now going back okay let me do a hot restart first so going back to the paste link which i said we are going to modify first i'm going to create the first one is going to be a test form feed okay so test form feed uh is going to be for for pasting the link pasting the link okay and then we are also going to have the button download button for extracting and downloading the link okay so just more like just download it because you already have the link okay download button for extracting and downloading the link okay so what i'm going to do now is to normally okay we are extracting it and then downloading as well okay so now we have this test form feed i'm just going to return a test form feed here and if i save it uh, you should see the test form feed that's played okay so something is wrong okay so this is the test form feed and all right so we can just tie this a little bit and i can give it the correction input the correction Okay, so I can just give it an hint test or we can say label if you want. Label test and we can say uh, paste YouTube video link here. Okay, and that's it. And you save it, you should see the stuff here. All right, so now we can now have another button so i'm not just gonna i'm not going to style this stuff okay like that so i'm going to have a button here so this is going to be a, a okay i'm going to use container to style it to be perfect not really perfect but it's going to be nice so i will have the on tap property so this okay when we click on this it's going to then download the video for us so I will have the child as well so the child is going to be a container widget and i want the width to okay to fill the page so you're going to use the media query your off contest okay and you set the size to be the width and then i'll also give it a child so the child is going to be a test widget you can just say download video okay yeah just like that and uh, we can okay give it a padding okay let me just show you what we are doing first before i add padding so we are having this error so i need to put a comma here all right to terminate that first one if i save it now you can see the button download button but it's not looking nice okay so i need to add some padding around it so and uh, i can say all to make it 20 okay save that all right we have a button but now i also need to add uh, a a color to it to show properly so the color is also going to be red okay so save it and now we have the red color but now it's too close to this other one so let me see if i can add some margin to it okay so we can add agent sets dot only okay so top i want to add it to the top and we can just make it 20. All right, so I think we are good. All right, so now we have this download video, but I want to align this one too to the center and also make the test to be white to be a little bit visible. So I'll just give it a style, okay, and give it a color, colors dot white, and also I will align it to the center using the alignment property. So I'll say align, alignment dot center, okay. And I think we are good to go. All right. And let me increase that font size a little bit to be 20. And I think 20 will be much more visible. All right. Download button. So once we paste the link here, we click on this download button and the video is going to start downloading for us. All right. So can we do this? Yeah, we can do this really quick. So you can see there's no much thing I did here just to create a test form feed and create the gesture detector. When you tap on the gesture detector, it should get the string from here. So to get that string, I'm going to create a controller. Remember this stuff has a test controller. So I just call it test controller. And I'm going to create the variable up here. So just call it test 
editing controller and I'll call it test controller and I need to initialize it as well so test editing controller all right so now I'm going to come here now and I'll check for if statement so if the controller if the test controller dot uh, tests that is empty so if it's empty uh, I don't want to do anything I can just print out hey your the the feed is empty or I can show a snack bar so this is how you show a snack bar in flutter 2.0 uh, 2.2 sorry uh, sorry use your scaffold messenger dot off contest okay uh, dot show snack bar and then you can now return your snack bar and the content is going to be uh, no link pasted okay no link pasted all right so i think this is good and i can save it so now if i click on this stuff you should see the snack bar no link pasted because this stuff is empty okay but if it's not then we can now uh, download the video okay download the video okay so for but for us to download this video now i need to add some plugin and I, as i said initially this was the plugin i created this one which is flutter youtube downloader so we are going to add this stuff to our prospect.tml file and possibly we are also going to rebuild our application as well so go to the installing tab and click on this okay so just copy this stuff and go to your terminal and we can run this one time command to add it to our prospect.tml file so you paste it inside whichever way you're pasting in your terminal and hit enter and give it some time it's going to download and make sure you have internet connection and it's going to download everything that is required okay so while that is installing let's see if there's any additional stuff we need to include in our, our manifest file i think there are other things we need to include so you go to the readme okay we need to add this line inside our application tag this one in particular to help us to uh, store our uh, store data into our local storage okay into the file the device explorer gallery or whatever in android 10 and above okay android 10 i believe so what i'm going to do now is to okay i copy the stuff no not that way just this one i need to copy I don't know if it is okay let's copy the two because i can't really remember it's been long i use this stuff so we go to your app manifest file inside application tag and paste that line so let's do that real quick okay this one is done already so i just need to run flutter pop get again so while it's running let's go to our android folder and locate the app so source we should have manifest somewhere okay so we have our manifest file here so inside the application tag we are going to add the stuff okay yeah that's it uh okay that means i need to copy this one as well to add so i can just copy this one and add it there okay oops okay yeah we add it inside here okay and the tools error is gone okay so i think there are other things again okay that's it all right so now we are good to run our application and you can change your application name if you want youtube downloader you can change it if you want this label okay so what i'll do now i'm going to uh, terminate this application and once i do that i'm going to rerun it again to make sure that the dependency is in the plugin has been installed correctly okay so now i'm going to go back to okay let's go back to the warning parts okay we are done with this part yeah let's see how it's being used okay so this is the youtube link which we are going to paste normal all right and uh, we can then okay i'm not going to work with a structured link i'm just going to go to the download link so this is how to download the video uh, you call final results and await is an asynchronous call so you need to use a sync and await they will call flutter youtube downloader dot download video and they will pass the youtube link which is the one we copied or uh, we pasted inside the test feed and then we put in the video title and then this 18 stands for the i tag okay more like 
you what, what type of resolution you want if it currently 18 is the 480p i tag so it's very clear and as a default you can go with you also have the 22 i tag we also have other so many other uh, i tag you can check it up on on google to see other i tags you can work with so to download this video now what we're just going to do is to just copy this stuff okay so i don't need to do much work copy this stuff and go to okay your page so here i'm going to create the function so you just create the function above here so this is since you are going to be using the same function inside the browser page too so instead of just pasting it inside here i'm going to uh, create a, a small class okay so i'm just going to call this one uh, a downloader so just call it downloader so this is a class i can say class okay download okay and uh, then we can paste that function inside here so the function is just going to okay we need to import this stuff remember we added the youtube downloader so you can import this stuff then the youtube link is going to be coming from the okay we'll make it as a parameter string and we'll call it youtube link okay and that's it okay so once video title goes here you can decide to put the title of the video okay let's say okay title so instead of having this stuff here we can just call it do it this way which is title okay all right so once we click on once we call this download download video we should get uh, this the video will just start downloading for us okay so i am printing the result because i want to know what the result is going to be like but you can remove the result if you don't want and leave it that way then the i tag leave it to be 18 because the video will be very clear for you all right so now let's go back to why it's okay still installing so let's go back to the paste link page so inside this paste link page what i'm going to do i'm going to call this class and then pass in the youtube link and whatever title i want to give it okay so what i'll do i'll just call download okay so it's a class download dot download video and now i need to pass the youtube link and the youtube link is going to be coming from the test form feed so at this point we know that it's no more empty okay we can get the test and once I get the test, I want to trim it. Okay, so trimming it, when I put trim, that means I want to remove the white space before and after the test. Okay, so we're just going to get only the link instead of the white spaces around it. And then lastly, I'm going to get the title. So we can just call this uh, YouTube, since I don't know the title, but whatever the title is, we can put it here. YouTube downloader, okay. okay this time now we are the one actually putting the title okay but you can in your own case you can create another test feed whereby the user can put in the video and also put in the title and you can pass it as a test editing controller here and then when you click on it you download the video as well okay so this is it and we can save this okay so let's see if so if i click on download video we have no link pasted all right so i'm just going to open my youtube now copy a link and then paste it inside here or instead of doing that let's see if we can copy this particular link inside here so we already have this link here so maybe i can copy this link and try to see if it's going to download okay so you can use any link of your choice okay you can use any link it doesn't matter it's still going to download it's still going to work so i'm going to use this one and make sure you copy it and go to your code your app okay all right so i'm going to paste it inside here okay so now if i click on download explainable okay now it's downloading all right it's actually downloading actually it's downloading but it seems my okay it's actually downloading but it seems my uh, my network my internet connection is slow so we can just leave this to continue downloading and once it's done we can uh, start from there from where it stopped okay 
so let's just leave it to be downloading you can see the indicator they're showing so it's currently downloading all right so now what you can do now is to uh, in do for this the browser part so the browser is just going to be more like a web view okay so the web view we are going to be using is the youtube uh www.youtube.com okay that's what we are going to be using for this okay so but if, well, for us to use the web view we need to also in, in, include uh the uh, web view plugin into our application okay plotter and there's not too much thing we are going to do here but you can see it requires a minimum sdk of 19 so we need to modify our uh, our minimum SDK to be 19, okay? And I think it has this stuff is put in here. If platform dot is Android WebView dot platform. Oh, it's been longer use WebView though, but we can okay. We can we are going to work our way around this. So what I'm going to do, I'll go to my installing tab and see if okay to just get the method of installing this stuff. Give it some time. Okay, so that stuff is actually downloading, so it's going to uh, take a lot of time. So what I can do is just to, okay, let's just wait for it. But why is installing? Let's go and change uh, our app manifest. Um, so the the minimum SDK of our application to be nineteen. Okay, so that we'll be able to use the uh, the the web view. Okay, so we change it to nineteen. All right, so you can close this stuff now. Don't worry, we are going to uh, key the app and run it again, but that is after we have added the WebView plugin. So I'm also going to close this one. And uh, let me see my prospect at YAML file. Okay, so we only have the YouTube downloader, which we just added initially uh, using that method, which is this method that we added. So it's still here. So now what we're going to add now is the WebView flutter. Okay. still downloading and it's taking lots of time so i think maybe the file is too large that's why okay so now the flutter web view we are going to add this one to our prospect.yaml file so go to your uh, your terminal paste this and hit enter so just give it some time for me to add it to our web view uh, our prospect.yaml file Okay, so it has been added. You can see that WebView Flutter has been added for us automatically. All right, so we can run Flutter pop get. All right, so just run your Flutter pop get. And uh, okay, so make sure you key your app and we run it again to be sure that everything is stored correctly. So I just run my app again, it should be built. So this stuff is still downloading you can see it's very slow because my internet connection is very low right now so that's why so let's just give it some time yeah hopefully okay so why that is downloading let's uh, start working on the browser page so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create the youtube link so this is going to be the the youtube link Okay, I'll call it link. That is the web view link that we are going to browse inside. So I'm going to call this one HTTPS. Okay, I believe uh, YouTube. Okay, so this is the link. All right, and now instead of having this uh, container, I'm going to have a scaffold widget. And the scaffold widgets, we also have a body. So the body is going to be the web view. Yeah. So we have already added the plugin, so you don't have to worry about any issue. And the web view takes an initial URL, which is the URL that is going to load whenever we uh, launch the page. So I'm going to call the URL to be link. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually a string. Yeah. So we call it to be the link. And then we can enable JavaScript, so because it will help us to add all those click functionality and the rest of it. So we can just say JavaScript, but be careful of this too. It's sometimes not. Uh, it's sometimes. Uh, how do I put it? Uh, makes your application vulnerable. Okay, so you should want to research on that to see why you need to 
be careful why enabling JavaScript mode in your web view application. And you can see probably some method how to uh, bypass all the stuff and make your app secure. Okay, so but for this, we still need to put the JavaScript mode. There is nothing serious we want to hide in this application, okay? So everything is already seen in this video, all right? So there's nothing we are going to hide. Okay, so now we need to add some stuff, which is on page started, on page finish. On page started is called whenever you start the page. On page finish is whenever the page is finished loading. On web view created, on progress and web resources. So when there's any error, it just triggers like internet error or the stuff is going to trigger. And we also have okay so we have gesture navigation enabled uh initial url and there's something i'm looking for which is actually the controller so it will help us to take the it, the controller is going to help us to take the to get the the current link that any page you open we want to extract the link from there as well so this stuff is done comp is done downloading you can see download complete if we click on this now it's going to start playing the video Okay, so I need to select what I want to use to play this video. So let me just use VLC. Okay, so that's actually my one of my videos I created a long time ago. So I added a link there. So this app is building. So you can see that the video currently is, is clear on my device. Okay, but you can decide to... You can decide... To, okay, let me rotate it and see. Okay, is actually clear my device so you can decide to change the eye type from 18 to 22 to just test different resolution and see the one that works best for you okay so that's how you 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 download uh youtube videos using the extracted link okay so you might want to watch the video again to okay to just understand the whole stuff and this stuff is not moving back again and here we are and let's see if we can okay so here we are let's go back to the with me and uh, remember i've increased the minimum sdk to 19 okay so this is uh, the url so let me see what will happen if i click on this browser right now so open your page and let's click on the browser and see what happens okay so it's not actually showing the page so let me see if i can change this url to have the www okay and save it and i just hope this one works okay it's actually loading some stuff okay okay it works because i didn't put this www so it couldn't read it and now oh sorry let me show the app sorry okay so now it works you can see the youtube link the youtube app is showing here okay so this is cool this is cool so i don't want this youtube downloader to show it's not really needed so i can extract apps how do i do this okay we can just leave it like that okay so but now you can see we have the home we have the trending we have all these stuffs so right now we cannot download video from here yeah we can't so until we click on each of them so until we click on each so let me say we click on this one now and once the video start downloading we should have the button to download the video okay on this stop. okay so we should have a button to just download the video from here okay so let's see how to do that real quick i'm going to pause this stuff and uh, now we are going to have the on um, web view created right Okay, I want to see how to get a controller, actually. Okay, so now I'm going to add a controller. So that controller will help us to retrieve the link whenever we are watching a video, okay? So let's see if we can have something like a web view controller. Okay, so I can say controller and extend it to be web view controller. So this one will help us to get the current link of where we are at, like the page we just opened okay web view controller okay something is wrong okay web view controller controller i think it's it's going to be null yeah 
it's definitely going to be no but now since i'm using no safety i need to add this uh this question mark there okay then here i'm going to have an on view created on web view created so i'll have the web view created now has a property of web control web view controller so i just call this one controller okay and then what i'll do is just to set the state so update that controller so i'll just set it to controller equal to controller all right so that's it and then with this controller now we'll be able to retrieve the link and do any other thing but now i want to only show a download button whenever we click yeah whenever we click to watch a particular video i want the download button to show okay all right that's making a lot of noise let's go back to it okay okay all right so now you can i don't know if you observe something when i clicked like once the page okay sorry i need to hold, save this stuff sorry okay all right sorry i need to run this app again it just closed so i don't know if you observe something when i clicked on the back button the app actually exited after instead of it like taking me to the previous page it just exited completely so how do we fix that i'm going to wrap my um, scaffold widget with on we pop widget so this is will pop widget we pop scope sorry so here i'm going to have on we pop on will pop so this will be called whenever we click on the back button okay okay so we need to return through here if you want okay then now i need to should be on a synchronous call sorry instead of having that just call a sync okay uh, we still need to return through okay so what i'll do now i will just check for a statement if the controller because everything that we are doing now is from the controller if the controller dot can go back can go back then we can just call controller dot go back okay just like that as simple as that so since i'm using no safety i need to add this stuff okay i think something is wrong something is wrong i wait if controller dot can go back then controller dot go back to the previous page okay so let's try this and see if it works so i'll save it and click okay so now we have this stuff and uh, okay let me click now we are in this page so if i press back and i shouldn't take us it shouldn't exit the app oops did the same thing all right so we can still fix this let's see if i can return force here okay so i just hope this works all right let's go back click uh, okay so now we are back to the previous page so you just need to change this stuff to force so now once you watch a video if you click back it should take you to the previous page instead of exiting the app completely all right so this is what we want and we just got it right so now the next thing i'm going to do is to check for if statement so if the web video controller if okay first let me uh first let me see the link is going to print first okay uh, let me see something okay so we're going to return a floating action button and uh, it's going to be a floating action button i'm pressed 
so this is more like to download the video okay but for now i want to print the current uh, link we are at like so i can just print the controller dot current url okay yeah that's it the current url and now i can uh, put an icon it's more like a download icon or a label or a child icons dot download okay just like that and save it we should have an icon right here okay and but the color should be red because you're always working with red so let me just say background color colors dot red okay so you want to save that as well okay okay you want to save that and change it to red so now if i click i want to be sure that i'm actually getting the current url feature string okay so i need to call await and i also need to use a sync here okay so save it and click let's see all right so this is the url that we are getting but if i click on one now and if I click, you see the URL will be different. So this is actually the URL, and this is what we want to download. Okay, so let's return back. And if I click here, you should see the URL. So now I'm going to check if the current URL is equal to this stuff. We are not going to show the download button. Okay, but if it's not, then we show the download button. All right. What we are going to do now is uh, I'm going to check if the so I'm going to use conditional statement. So if the controller dot uh, current URL, okay, current URL if is equal to this one here, then I just want to return a container, okay. That means you cannot download from there else we can return a floating action button okay i need to change this stuff okay so this stuff has some issue equality of project with reference of unrelated types okay so i think i can something needs to be done here and i cannot use a weight here that's just one thing i won't be able to use a weight there so i don't know how i can do this right now but i definitely will figure out a way okay mm, this is a string and this is a future so that's why we can really let me see if i can get convert it to string okay so we can now do the equality so let me save it and see if this stuff will disappear all right so still the same thing because we can't really get that stuff like that this stuff just need to disappear okay okay instead of doing it this way i can just create a boolean value and then to handle this stuff okay let me just go back yeah i just have uh, no way in a way a method of doing this because i don't think we can use uh the a future we can compare a future and a string so let me see there's actually a better way i just thought of doing this now so what i'll do i'll create a function that is going to handle that so it's just going to be a void method check url okay just like so and uh it's also going to be in a sync okay so this one will help us to use the sync and now i'm going to call like so check for conditional statement so if the await await controller okay so don't worry we'll soon round up this video i think it's getting long dot current url is equal to this string okay so now we got it so if it's equal to that string you can just set state and say uh show show download button equal to force okay but if it's not then we can call the same set state and call the same show download button and set it to true okay so i think you understand what i did here 
so if the url is equal to this we're just going to hide the download button but if it's not then we're going to show the download button but now i need to create this download button as well this boolean value so by default it's going to be false like so okay now we have it to check the url so now what i'm going to do is just to call this check url whenever the page rebuilds okay so i'm just going to call it here that means we're going to call it anytime the page rebuilds all right so this should work so now what i'll do now this show download button i'll take it to this part and i'll see it like this if show download button is equal to false then we are going to show the container else and show the floating action button right so save it i think this stuff should disappear and that's what i wanted to do and you can see the easier way i did it so i believe you guys can actually learn from this as well coding is sweet but sometimes you need to think you know think uh beyond all right so let's see this if i click on this body you can see now the video the icon is there but if i go back now you won't be able to see the icon again so this is actually amazing it's so sweet so now let's see how to download a particular video and play it in our okay so once i click i'll have this download button and once i click the video will start downloading right let's do that real quick so what i'll do i'll go to where we have the download because you already have the url to download using the controller that's current url all right so inside this download now instead of printing this stuff remember if i click on this it's printing the download stuff so so what i'll do now instead of printing this stuff we can still print it if you want we are still going to use the same method we use inside the space link where we call download dot download video and all those stuff okay so what we'll do i'll just copy this okay just copy this it's still the same method so don't get confused and we are going to go back to the browser page and paste this here download we need to import this as well but now in this case we are not using we are not getting the download link from the test controller anymore we are actually getting it from this okay so what i'll do i'll just remove this and store it inside uh different widgets there are different variables sorry so now instead of this one i'm just going to remove it and change it to be the url okay and uh, then the we can as well get the title too okay so if you don't know we can also get the title for this stuff okay i need to put this stuff as well so now this download youtube downloader we don't need to put the title manually because we can also get the title of that particular video still using the web view controller so we can get the title like this so if you really want me to make a complete course on using web view and just let me know in the comment section below and i'll do my best to do that so we can do controller dot title get title yeah oops controller dot get title okay so in this case now you can get the title and i can decide to print out the title of the video okay like so and now instead of having this download youtube i'll just have the title straight up okay just have the title here all right so that's it um for now let me show you how to print the title so i'm just going to comment the download button for now so do a hot restart and once we click on one video and if i click on this you should print out the title so if you look closely you can see it has a title here how to drive how to not drive your car and that's the name how to not drive your car okay so that's the title all right so let's go back and i'm going to uncomment this again okay so now we can do a hot restart and now let's download the uh, any video let's do a hot restart for it to be built okay so this is the first page where you paste your youtube link and you go to your browser and let's look for a shorter video to download 
okay maybe i'll go with this one click on it and the video should start remember you can still pause it if you want yeah no issues but now if we click on this download button the download should start downloading video is downloading slide down to see the progress okay so now we just have an information slide down to see the progress so you can see the title of the video mad bug mad bug mood nationalist nash blah 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 so if you look the title to it's still the same thing mad bug okay so let's see let's just wait for it to finish downloading and then when we play it let's see if it's actually the correct video all right so remember i told you that you can also change the i tag if you want to make it clearer you can change the i tag to 22 uh, to whatever you want to change it to okay well i'll just leave this for it to 18 okay because just for testing okay so let's just wait for it to complete and see how the video will be this video is actually downloading to your gallery so once you download it you can go and check it out in your gallery you should also see it as well All right, guys, I think it's done downloading. Let's see where we got that. Okay. And this is it. Madbug download completed. So let's click on it now. Open with VLC. And you can see exactly the same video with a nice quality. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys, how to create a YouTube video downloader using the video downloader plugin I created and also using the flutter web view so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe share and if you want me to create more videos just put it down in the comment section and i'm going to do my best to do that and if you want me to give you an in-depth tutorial on how to use web view and also put it down in the comment section below and i'm going to do that thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe